I'm presuming that uh, many of you have probably, possibly not played the ukulele before. Um, so I'm going on that premise that um, I'm not presuming any prior knowledge, knowing that, of course, there will be some of you that um, have been playing. So a little bit about this gorgeous, gorgeous instrument. And first of all, just to tell you a little bit about how Phil and I got going on this beautiful little instrument. So uh, Phil and I are both guitarists and we've been playing guitar for, for many, many years. And in fact, in all my preschool classes and in all Phil's preschool classes for over 20 years, we've been using the guitar and thinking nothing of it. And slowly, 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 there's, there's been this incredible craze throughout the world about the ukuleles. And, you know, um, I became very uh, interested in knowing a little bit more about the ukulele. So I thought, right, about four or five years ago, I decided, okay, I'm going to get a ukulele and just see how it goes. So I bought a ukulele and at first I thought, mm, I'm not so sure. But I have to say, I am just loving playing this gorgeous little instrument. And the reasons are, whether you're, you, know, you come from a guitar background or not, the reason is because it's an inclusive instrument like no other instrument. If I just play these strings like that, they're open strings. That's what we call open strings. No fingers here on the fretboard at all. And there are hundreds of songs you can play just with that open tuning like that. How exciting is that? Now, that is not the case on the guitar. In fact, I cannot think of another instrument where that's the case, where you have a, a chord. It's, it's a C chord with a six. It's called a C6, and it's a C major chord, effectively. So you can play hundreds and hundreds of songs just with the open tuning. So guys, tonight, very, very exciting. If you've never played the ukulele before or you've kind of just toyed with it, um, the really exciting thing is that by the end of it, if you've got a ukulele with you, you are going to be playing lots of songs. And if you haven't got a ukulele, hopefully you'll be inspired to go and get one because you'll know that you'll be able to play lots and lots of songs. So that's the big thing um, that I found. It's really, really inclusive. The next point is that it's really, really portable and it's so light. And so you literally, I've got a strap and for $10, you can grab a strap, have it around your neck. You don't even feel that you've got something there. Now, the guitar is just so much heavier. It's amazing. Um, so whenever I go back to playing the guitar, I think, oh, my goodness, how did I you know, play this for so long, particularly working with children and dancing with children and playing instruments with children and doing all of that while you're playing the guitar when you can have such a lovely little portable instrument and it sounds fantastic. So for those reasons, the ukulele is amazing. Guys, those of you in preschool centres, working with young children in schools, your kids will love you because it doesn't matter whether you've ever or never played an instrument in your life before, you'll be able to go tomorrow or Monday morning and go in and play a whole lot of songs with your children. So let's find out a little bit first about the ukulele. So you can see here on the slide, history of the ukulele. Guys, you can Google and read lots and lots about it. So um, just very, very um, simply, it's based on a small guitar-like instrument, Portuguese origin and it was introduced into Hawaii in the 1880s. So it actually means jumping flea and it's actually pronounced in Hawaii ukulele, ukulele. Now we've kind of anglicised that um, and particularly in Australia we tend to say ukulele or the uke, okay, but really the real pronunciation is ukulele. Okay, let's have a, a just a quick look about um, the actual parts of the ukulele. So you can see in the slide there, and I'm gonna just take this off so I can show you. So there's three main parts to the ukulele. Just like a person, there's the beautiful shapely body. Okay, there's the body. We have a very long neck. If I move this strap, you can see the long neck here and the head. Now, there's certain parts on each of those three um, body parts. So on the body, 
we have the bridge. We have the sound hole. On the neck, we have these little horizontal um, lines, which are the um, fret bars. And here we have a nut. On the head, we have tuning pegs. That's effectively all you need to know. So to make it um, just a bit of fun so we can all learn, hopefully you've got your ukulele with you. Um, a nice holding position is to have it horizontally across your body. You might notice that I am actually a left-hander, okay? You are going to be holding it this way, horizontally across your body so it's nice and comfortable, all right? Okay, here's a uke wrap. Oh, in fact, let me take this strap off again. All right. I want you to hold it up like this, and we're going to do some little wrapping. This is the body, and we're going to play on the, on the body. And this is the neck. Makes a great percussion instrument. And this is the head. And these are the strings. The body has a sound hole. Here's the sound hole. You can tap and make up a little pattern just like that. The body has a bridge. Body, oh, the neck has a nut. Oh, ba, ba, da, ba. The neck has many frets. The, the head has some tuning pegs. Four of them. You can see. And now back to the chorus. Well, this is the body. And this is the neck. And this is the head. And these are the strings. And that's the end of our ukulele rap. So it's really important that you know about those parts of the ukulele because I'm going to be referring to them. All right, we've talked about the holding position and I know that some of our listeners will be actually working with children and teaching children and it's really important to have a resting position and resting position means strings down, whether it's strings on the carpet, whether it's strings on the floor, whether it's strings on the table, whether it's strings on the lap, the strings are down. Okay. We've talked about different sizes of ukulele. Most common is, and, and starting one usually is the Prana, the tiny little one. I've got the concert. Phil showed you his tenor and there's also a baritone. But lots of other kinds of ukes as well. Do you know you can get a banjo lele? So it's gorgeous. Just go into a, a music shop and have a look at the different kinds of ukuleles. You can get a bass ukulele as well. All right. Let's get into the meat, meaty stuff. Strumming. There are various ways to strum. So I want you to take your strumming hand. It's my left hand, but it'll be uh, most likely your right hand. So we can go down with the thumb, just like this. I'm holding it up deliberately. That's not how I hold it, but I'm just, I want you to see it on the screen. So uh, thumb, like that. Another way is down with the index finger or down with the nails. Three different ways to play, okay? Now, that's a down strum. We call a down strum a duck strum. A duck gets down, okay? So just a fun way to remember um, that a down strum is a duck strum. Now, you can also come up. You can go down with your thumb, come up with the nail, thumb nail. Go down with the index finger, come up with the fleshy part. Go down with the nails, and come up with the fleshy parts of the fingers. Okay, you can explore lots of different ways to strum. So that's exactly what we're going to do with some different strumming patterns. There's the duck strum, 
down, 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 D for down, D U D U, frog strum, because a frog jumps up and down. So we're going down and up, that's the frog strum. And then later we're going to do a chicken strum. So let's do our duck strum to start. And we're just going to be strumming on the open strings. And the open strings, there's the A string, and that's the string closest to your toes. That's Aunt M Cooks Goblins A E C G. Okay, and we're going to strum all of those strings. Here we go, guys. Here's a hello song. Play it with me if you've got your ukulele. We're just going to do a down strum, a duck strum. Hello, everyone. Welcome here today. Hello, everyone. Let's sing and dance and play. We're just going to do it on open strings, guys. We could do it at half time. Hello everyone, welcome here today. Hello everyone, let's sing and dance and play. Okay, I want you all to try now a different strum. So I use my thumb. Now I'm going to try just my index finger and I'm going to this time do a frog strum. Hello everyone, welcome here today. on the beat because this is a great way to start. Now we can also try nails and coming up with a thumbnail. So back of these three fingers, index, middle, ring, coming up with a thumb. I'm going to sing now the Chinese and I hope if there's any Chinese listeners you can sing with your beautiful accent because mine's very Australian. Okay, so how did you go with those three different strums? We want you to have a good technique. So the idea is to not be moving the hand up and down, but to try and keep it in just the one position. And it's really, it's all coming from your wrist. The wrist needs to be nice and relaxed, really nice and relaxed. So technique is really important. All right, let's go to a new song. And of course, if you're on uh, this webinar until the very end and you've sent your full name to us, we will send you the notes with all these songs as our gift to you. Now, we all like to use songs in many different languages. So uh, we had the Chinese for Welcome Here Today and now we have this beautiful African song from Nigeria and many of you will know this. It's a greeting song and I'm going to teach you some actions. With my eyes, I greet you. With my words, I greet you. With my heart, I greet you. There's nothing up my sleeve. So it's a beautiful uh, song about greetings and blessings so um, that's that's what it's all about and it's it's a really beautiful song now I'm just going to lift my ukulele up so you can see and I want you to try um, we'll start with a duck strum no fingers up here <laughs> just the open strings and we'll just use the thumb Ashay, Ashay, Bum 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 Bum, 
wrong. Ashe, ashe. Okay, this time, let's try it with our index finger. And we're going to go down and up, doing the frog's drum. Off we go. And Funga, I love ya. Ashe, ashe. Funga, I love ya. Ashe, ashe. Bum, 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 bum. Ashe, ashe. Bum, 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 bum. Ashe, ashe. Fantastic, guys. That's really, really important when you're a beginner. Have lots of rests, okay? So we don't want anyone with a sore um, wrist or sore fingers. And sometimes if we're playing for too long, we can get, um, we don't want fingers that are bleeding or we can get blisters, all of that kind of thing. Rests are really, really, really important. And that's why um, when you're teaching and you're playing for the first time on your, and, you, and you're a beginner, make sure, make sure that you integrate playing the ukulele with actions, with movement, with singing, with playing percussion instruments. Very, very important. All right, let's go to the next, next activity, next song. This is the frog song, Ka Eruno Uta, which is um, all about the little frog. And this is in Japanese, Japanese folk song. And we're going to learn a new strum. This is the rhythm strum. Now, the rhythm strum follows the words. Uh, Phil, I can hear somebody, somebody that's not muted. Uh, okay, so we're going to follow the rhythm of the words. So we're going to start just with the last uh, little part of this song. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. Okay? So I'd like you all to try it this time with your nails and coming up with your thumb. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. So that's how the frogs sound in Japan. Listen to the croaking frogs in Japan. They sound like this. Beautiful song. We're going to just play when there's a word. So that's what rhythm is in music, just following the words. And then where there's a rest, we'll just have a little slap. So it goes like this. Have a listen. Gero, 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 gua, gua, gua. So a little slap just mutes the strings and that's where your rests are, okay? Let's try it together. We'll try a different strumming um, way of strumming. So let's, this time let's do it with our index finger coming up with the fleshy part. Ready, ka e -ru -no. Now you'll see on the screen we've got a down arrow to represent a down strum, an up arrow for an up strum, and then that little upside down triangle is for the rest, which we also call a slap when we mute the strings like this. So well done, guys. You can, you can practice all of that. Now, as well as knowing how to strum, and we haven't even played any chords, and guys, we're only going to be learning one chord tonight, and that's the C chord. We'll be learning that very shortly. But before we do that, it's also really important to know a little bit about strings. Now, we've already had a look at Aunt M. Cook's Goblins. So, we're going to have a couple of um, lovely little uh, pieces just getting to know the strings. So, we're going to start with the first string, which is A. Closest to your toes. 
okay I'm going to play some chords but all I want you to do is just play the A string which is this string closest to your toes with your thumb as I sing the words this is the A string A A A when I play my uke it's the farthest away this doing is this this sorry this is the a string a, a, a. I want you to play it with me I'm just holding this up so you can see I wouldn't usually be holding my ukulele so high up it would be right down here and you wouldn't see it okay but just so you can see it have your hand ready so you can just pick with your thumb off we go and this is the first string a a a when i play my uke it's the furthest away this is the first string a a a what can you play on the a today and now it's time for you to improvise and make up a little pattern while i play the chords here we go and you can play anything you like just on that A. Keep improvising, making it up. Well done, guys. So you can do the same with the E string. This is the second string, E, E, E. Pluck it with your thumb now, just like me. This is the second string, E, E, E. What can you play for you and me? Because we don't have a long time, guys, um, you can do the same with the other two strings. This is the C string, C, C, C. Let's try together and this is the C string, C, C, C. Let's try with the G string. So you go up to the G string. It's the top string and it's closest to your nose. G string. You'll hear that I have a low G string. And that's an option for... Um, more advanced players, after you've been playing for a while, you can have the option of going to a low G string. This is the G string, G, G, G. It's closest to my nose, as you can see. All right, now we're going to have a little quiz, guys, and see if you can actually find the correct strings as I sing and play for you, if you're happy and you know it. All right, and see if you can pick on the names of the strings that I sing to you. So the first one's going to be G. So see if you can find your G. If you're happy and you know it, play on G. Off you go. If you're happy and you know it, play on E. If you're happy, play an A. Now play another A. If you're happy and you know it, play lots of C's. How did you go? Let's try it again. If you're happy and you know it, play on G. If you're happy and you know it, play on E. If you're happy, play an A. Now play another A. If you're happy and you know it, play lots of C. Well done, everyone. Okay, now you can see the way we teach this is actually colour coded. So it's just, it's easy to remember. So the A string is purple, E string is yellow, C string is red, and G string is green. All right, a little bit about the tuner. Just excuse me, I'm just going to grab my tuner. And here it is. Now, if you're a beginner, it's really, really important to have one of these. These are absolutely the best things that you can have. It clips on the top like this. And uh, you turn it on 
And I don't know if you can see that, but we're going to start with, I'll try and bring it really close. So you can see on the screen, there is the idea is to play your A and then it says A on the uh, little tuner and to get the little blue lever to be showing, okay? And you just need to experiment. Um, and experiment, turn the uh, tuning pegs, make them uh, lower or higher, and that's, that's very important for you to experiment. And now I'm going to turn this off because um, you need to spend some time doing that. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we need to know about the finger numbers for your, before we do any kind of um, chords over here on the neck, uh, you need to know your finger numbers. So on your fret hand, which is going to be your left hand, um, this is number one, index, middle, ring, and then four, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, there's a grid there. And it's colour coded, okay? And so we're going to learn our very first chord. And that is C chord. Okay, so we're going to take our third finger, which is our ring finger, and we're going to put it on the third fret of the A string. And you need to push it down very firmly. Now you'll see on my ukulele that I've got lots of stickers. And that really helps for beginners. Um, so we've got a sticker system and the red dot. Uh, is a C chord and we're going to play our C chord. The thumb doesn't come over like this, but it just sits nicely just near the top of the neck. Okay, and that's what the C chord sounds like. Let's just do um, a song with the C chord. Strumming, the same thing. We can go um, and do a duck strum. Kumbaleo, kumbalai, kumbalai. So you can try duck, frog, and chicken. Now let me show you chicken. Chicken is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Now all the songs we're doing for C tonight, you can also do open tuning. All the songs that we've done tonight on open tuning, you can do with the C chord. And remember, there's hundreds of songs. Okay, um, Starlight, Starbright. Um, so this is a song many of you will know. Starlight, Starbright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. And you might sing to the children. How many wishes can you make? And you can actually get one of the children coming up to your ukulele and just picking with their thumb because young children can, they can strum on open tune or tuning and they can also pick on the strings, particularly the three and the four year olds. But even the babies and toddlers can, can be strumming with an index finger like this with you holding the ukulele. So that's very exciting. So. How many wishes can you make? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. I made five wishes. <laughs> okay. The recommending uh, recommendation for practice, seven minutes, three times per week. How about that? That's not onerous. That's not hard. Um, do it while you're sitting in front of the telly, in the ads and you will improve and get better and better all the time. Now, guys, I said there were hundreds of songs. These are just a few songs, many of the songs that you know, like nursery rhymes, 
um, some of the simple songs like Starlight, Starbright, some of the songs we've already done, traditional songs. They're all in C. How exciting is that? All of those songs. Um, Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. All of those. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Fere shaka, fere shaka, etc. Lots and lots and lots, hundreds and hundreds of songs.